Good morning. It's uh, Deborah here again with you from the Beaufort Bell. And I've got three more um, Christmas journals that I wanted to share that are going to go in my um, Etsy shop today. This one is, um, I call Holly Days. It's more of a traditional um, theme one. And then... This one is Special Delivery, which is um, engraved on this little tag that I put on the front cover. And we have Merry and Bright, which is engraved on this little tag. So, let me start with Holidays. Whoops, sorry. And I cut, this was a gold um, colored um, hardcover book that I covered with... Um, holly christmas um, theme napkin and i added um, this embellishment on the front it's a two-piece embellishment um the so uh, excuse me gold filigree embellishment and then this was actually a piece of um, jewelry a necklace a pendant and i just snapped the you know little um holder circle thing off of the uh, flower and I just thought the colors were perfect to go with that it has a removable tassel that is just stunning I think um, the colors in it match this you know perfectly and it would be great um, these colors are perfect to you know cut off you know you can um, remove this if, number one if it gets in the way which Typically, what I do with them when I'm working in a journal that has a tassel is I just pull it up to the top, you know, and then it's not, you know, in your way as you're working. But if you want to remove it, you certainly can. There's a little um, piece here, and you just open that up, see, and, you know, it snaps back on. But you can pull out some of these um, trims and use them inside as embellishments on your pages. So here's the back. It's got about a one inch spine. And there are two signatures in this book. So just added some um, scrapbook paper to the covers. I think it's the same front and back. Yes. And this label, um, you could write um, a dedication to someone if you're giving it as a gift. Or, you know, about when you started the journal, whatever you'd like on that, or put a picture here. Um, a little envelope with a, like, um, it's like a Project Life card inside. I made the envelope. And this is parchment paper. Get that off. A tag that I made. And a little um, sentiment card. The tag has um, green ledger on the back you could journal on. It goes in this pocket. I believe that you'll see several of these Tim Holtz um, holiday cards inside of this journal. Christmas music. Tuck spot. Another tuck. Some really pretty, um, a square doily. I just turned on an angle so it's like a diamond. An inventory tag. I just added some cute trim to. Um, a little paper bag that has some Christmas sentiments printed on it in white. And a tag that I added inside. I love this green sari silk with the um, off-white lace. This I left very plain um, for you to embellish as you would like. This card says Wonder, and it's a little um, gift-shaped um, paper clip. I'm going to try to get through these pretty quick so it doesn't take too long. And on this side, I just tucked a, another journal spot in there. This is the center of your... Um, signature. A little bag I put on this 
small piece with a tag inside. And these um, pages, I think, are from a 1922 Women's Weekly um, publication. And this bag is not open. You could snip the end if you want or snip it across the top if you'd like it open. Just a little journal spot here. card in this packet and that's the end of that signature beginning of the second one key card and yeah, that's the back of that those were cut apart from a kit or pack tuck spot here with a doily this one is a round French doily Bingo card in a belly band. More of the Women's Weekly 1922 publication that is Christmas related. I stamped this with archival ink, so that should not be a problem with smearing. I made a tuck spot out of this um, St. Nick Tim Holtz card and just added this cute little tag. center of, oh, here we go. For, I need to skip something. This little gold um, bag, and I added a journal card there. Center of your signature. On this side of the bag, I added another card. A little card there. That just folds out. The doily music paper. This is um a tag, and this is Holly, a tag of an angel and music um in the background that I collaged, and I made um this from a napkin that I got from Maggie Lockley in uh, New Zealand, um in a swap that we did, and they just um reminded me of of Christmas, even though they I don't think they were Christmas themed, but. I just thought they'd be so cute at Christmas, and so thank you, Maggie, for that. And on the back cover, you've got your um, library card and pocket. So this is Holly Days. That will be in the shop. Okay, part two. <laughs> try again. Right. I'll try to keep a check. See that I'm in frame. All right. This second journal is called Mary and Bright. Um, I put a little Tim Holtz um, metal embellishment with Mary and Bright engraved on the front and used one of his hitch posts to, um, for the closure. I covered it with um, scrapbook paper and on the spine I used um, German text from it's actually Gone with the Wind, a copy of that I got, um, but it's in a German version of it. And I just thought it looked really pretty and Christmassy, the um, actual um, font I thought was real pretty. And this one has a really bright and colorful uh, tassel. Make sure you're in screen. Yeah, I wasn't on the last one, so... Um, I used a lot of the, um, the teals and greens and reds, um, in the tassel, different types of trims, and I also, on this one, added beads that are handmade that I actually did. Um, the, the green bead here, let me hold it up. The green barrel bead here, and... The blue one, blue multicolor blue, and the red and white polka dot and blue barrel bead there. Um, I made those. I absolutely adore um, paper bead making, so I might go back to that. That was what I did 
actually before I started making um, journals. I like to make bracelets and stuff with those. So may go back to that at some point. But anyway, we're here to talk about journals. <laughs> so um, this too can also be removed just like the other um, tassel. Um, it's easy to remove if you'd like. And these would be great um, trims to use in your book as embellishments. So let's open up. In the front, I have a handmade envelope I made out of uh, music paper. And on the inside, you have two um, Project Life cards and some vintage Christmas postage, except for this little piece. It's a special delivery. That's a little Tim Holtz um, embellishment. And on the front of that, I just added this um, embellishment piece and left it open as a pocket for this little pocket it's, or card holder itself. I got from Michaels. Just thought it was cute and matched the colors and theme sort of of the retro theme of this. This is um, painted, I stamped it on with acrylic paint. It just kind of looked like snowballs. Uh, this pocket has a project life card and this tag that I made using some of the cutoff papers and I stamped Merry Christmas. Any stamping that you see I've done in here is done with archival ink so it will not run. It is permanent and any paint that I have um, done with my stamps is um, acrylic paint so that also will be permanent. Um, you'll see a lot of trim washi trim in here or not a whole terribly lot but you anyway used a lot of washi trim this is gold glitter the holly and it has some glitter on it too just some pretty scrapbook paper green ledger paper holly doily merry christmas stamped up in the corner and i made a tuck spot here with um cute little santa image and this book includes one of my Christmas Carol um, holiday books. And just like I warned in the last video, um, if you get um, one of these and decide to take it apart, be very careful with these staples. They are extremely rusty, very rusty. And I don't want you to end up having tetanus or you know needing to go get a shot. So be careful with that. Oh, and I just, um, this page has silhouettes of, um, snowflakes where I, um, sort of dabbed around those, a snowflake shape, gold, or silver glitter washi here on this bag with the, uh, Silent Night music. Inside is a cutoff extra from the paper that was left over and a little journal spot. This is a popcorn bag, and... Stamped snowflakes in dark blue, gridded paper, tea stain paper, project life card. This red is an um, handmade envelope. Merry and bright is on tea stain paper, and I just tore it off and attached it and added a vintage um, Christmas sleigh stamp up at the top. Center of your um, signature. This is a washi that was... Um, like a lace and it was almost like rice paper you know it wanted to um, fade out and so which I like the way it looked but I went back and added some um, silver stickles down at the bottom and in the middle there just to help highlight that a little bit and let's see we have a belly band let me get that uh -huh. with a bingo card tea stain paper, added a little um, journal spot, it says my list, with a gift paper clip, um, an angel tag that I made with the napkin um, from Maggie Lockley, and on this one I embellished also with um, sequin stars and one of Tim Holtz's um, little Christmas title things peace on earth that one says this bag um, I just added a little scene here and it has 
um, cute little I'll be home for Christmas scene and you can journal on the back and a little oops ornament decorated uh, journal and spot there tea stain paper there's that doily and this is a Project Life card I trimmed down and used as a tuck spot and just added another Project Life card and just added some cute little tree embellishments on this page and more of the um, stamping with the white acrylic. Second signature. Project Life card in this pocket. Okay. Cute image um, with part of um, mm, the night before Christmas. Another red and white polka dot pocket, and it has a Christmas mason jar and another little Christmas journal card. This is actually the tag off of you know pre made ready made gift bag. I just like the design and the colors and um, just used a brad and poked it through and added it there to the top. Thought that was cute and just used the, the ribbon from the gift tag and the bag to embellish that. And on the back side, to hide the brad that's there, I just used this image and left it open at the bottom and used it as a tuck spot. I'll see gridded paper. Snowflake, uh, yeah, doily, snowflake. Um, belly band with a key card. Uh, washi tape embellishment. Middle of your signature and with um, metallic gold, I embossed Mary and Bright at the top. And there's also a very light um, script stamping in white, very light. And then this page has it washi embellishment and I just stamped ho 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 on top and bottom in blue. Um, glitter washi on this pocket. Cute cards, seasons greetings. And on this page I stamped silver snowflakes with metallic paint and did white dots with a pencil eraser. <laughs> that was fun. And this is the other side of the bag, and you can use this as a tuck, you know, here, or I um, added this little image and made it like a belly band and put this little cute little tag in it. She's one of my favorite tags I've ever made. I just thought she was adorable. Mm -hmm. And I think we're coming to the end. Um, this is the last page I stamped Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas in Green. Added this card to this tuck spot. Oh, next to the last page. A little more of the stamping in white. Uh, library pocket and card. And I just embellished with a cute sleigh sticker and a Tim Holtz Merry and Bright title there. And here's the tag. Back of the book. I love this book. I just, I don't know. I love the colors. And um, anyway, it's one of my favorites. So, like that. Okay, the last journal is this one. It's called Special Delivery. This book um, is, the, the base book is, um, <sighs> mm hmm I'll think of it in a minute. Isn't it funny how you do lose your words when you're taping? Oh, wow. Oh, it is a vintage um, copy of Gone with the Wind, but it's a German version of it. And instead of printing it in one thick volume, you know, really thick, because that's a long story, they did it in two separate volumes, and I ended up, I didn't realize when I was purchased the book that I was getting two volumes, so that was great fun to, when I received it. Um, but that this book is actually where I got um, this paper from for this spine. This German text is from this set of books, and the 
it was really cool when I got it. I opened the package up and there was a handwritten note inside that said, um, I think it came from Thrift Books. If you haven't checked that out, you might want to. Um, it was going, the money that I used to buy the books was going to a charity and it was to help teachers over there purchase new textbooks, which I thought was really awesome. Was, you know, didn't know that ahead of time, just, just happened, um, to get the note in the, the thing. They didn't advertise that out, but they, they might ought to, might get more response. Anyway, this is about the same size as the other two journals, except that it has three signatures. It does have a, a thicker spine. It's about, um, an inch and a quarter, possibly an inch and a half. Um, like I said, the book is old. I cannot find the text block that I pulled out of here so that I can remember the exact copyright date. It's from the 30s or 40s. I'm not sure. So, keeping that in mind, um, the book was actually in good shape with the exception of right here where the book opens and closes. You can see that um, here and here. But it's held together. I've reinforced it when I made the book, I used um, book binding tape or um, fabric, I mean book binders fabric in the um, center of the spine and um, the signatures are sewn through that and through the the outer spine. Oh, sorry, I'm not that. Um, and I've also added to the um, outer part of the spine a layer of this stuff I found one day in a thrift shop and it's I guess pronounced lace -alon. not sure I've never heard of it or seen it before um, they call it a ribbon but it's pretty old but it looks like you know webbing um, do I have something dark I could put it here on this maybe you know it is it's just a webbing um, reinforcement it is what I'm using it, it for and it just happens to be kind of pretty <laughs> so I attached that to the outside of the spine and made sure that you know was staying on and then sewed my signatures um, in so I feel like everything is you know will hold together you know very well um, three signatures and I added um, three of Tim Holtz's charms. This one says wish. This one is the number 25 for Christmas. And this charm says believe. So on the front is, um, I covered it with a blue filigree paper and, um, used vintage hem, uh, like lace, um, hem tape and some pom-poms I thought that was just I don't wanted something different on there I thought that was cute I like the blue and the white together a lot and the back is just covered with the blue and three signatures yeah I think I already said that one two three all right and I did not put a closure on this book all right, so the inside, first signature. Okay. This is um, a vintage um, Christmas coaster, paper coaster. Those are really cool. I only have a couple of those. Um, I wish I could find, get my hands on some more. They're really fun uh, to use. I really like them a lot. Um, this book in each signature, let me show you this real quick. So this is the first signature. This is your second signature, and this is your third signature. Each one starts with a piece of vintage wrapping paper, and underneath is some type of writing or journaling spot. And on the wrapping paper, I embellished it with a um, vintage Christmas stamp. So this one is the second signature. And this one, well, I didn't use a stamp on this. I used a vintage um, name tag, gift tag. And on this one, what did I use? I stamp. So here's your vintage wrapping paper, journal spot, and your vintage stamp. Okay, so. And the 
the um, sequence of pages in the signatures is generally the same throughout. Same pattern. Okay, so there's that. I used some pages from this um, McCall's Book of Christmas. You'll see some of these um, photos from that. This pocket, I just added um, some doilies for your use. A vintage Christmas playing card with um, it's the most wonderful time of the year project life card life card it's metallic journal spot here that lifts up um, vintage monopoly money and in this pocket I put um, a journal a little journal spot made from two of the Betty Crocker recipe cards Quick holiday fruit cake. I don't know about y'all. I'm not a fan of fruit cake, <laughs> but it does look pretty. Some music, another Project Life card, um, embossed Merry Christmas in metallic red. Added a little tab at the top. More music. Oh, and in each signature, um, on at some point, I did um, some stents, Harlequin stenciling. This is in metallic um, turquoise or, um, yeah, turquoise blue. Um, in this tiny little pocket, I've added one of the doilies, uh, Holly doily. This is a vintage piece remnant of um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer text. I just couldn't bear to throw it away and thought you might want to use it in your journal. And a little tuck spot I made from a Christmas card. Tuck spot. Journal spot. Oh, my goodness. I just added some fabric on the edge. Here is some of the German um, text original to the book. You could um, cut up and use or collage. And um, a belly band with a little um, card on here. Just some fabric trim. Two cute little sentiment cards in this pocket, and I trimmed that with just a little leftover piece of vintage wrapping paper. This is from, um, oh, what is that called? I've already forgotten. McCall's Book of Christmas. Little blank vintage card. Oh, this fabric trim I put in here is from Gina at the Rebookery from one of her packs. And I left this as a tuck spot behind it. Um, made this little tag from a clothing tag. I love to recycle tags. Love, love, love. Okay, so second signature. I started with a vintage gift tag that's blank inside. And on this side, you have your journal spot. A generic tag I made with some vintage wrapping paper and just... Um, put some writing, kids' writing paper on the back. Um, this um, gridded paper I lined on the back with vintage wrapping paper to give it some thickness. And at the top, I've added a skeleton um, leaf and a piece of tea stained cheesecloth and sari silk as an embellishment at the top. This is from the McCall's Book of Christmas, and I have to say, I love this picture. I almost didn't put it in. I wanted to use it in one of my journals so bad, but because we had these type of stockings growing up, my mom made them. She had the high heel boot, and my dad had a, a man's boot, and then she did um, some very ornate um, stockings for my brother and I that had our name on them. And toys, you know, um, made out of felt and sequins um, coming out of the top and had decorated all along the stock. And they were absolutely gorgeous. I wish we still had them. Um, they were classic, but that looked just so much like my mom's. I loved it. Anyway, I put it in. Loved it. Um, let's see. This is um, a vintage 1966 calendar from December. And thought that was cute did the red um, harlequin stenciling here 
This little Christmas bag has two Project Life cards. Come on, let's play. So it's the elf and little bird on that card. Um, teeny tiny little flash card, recipe card. This ledger paper is from December and it runs from the 20 to the 26th of that month in 1967. Thought that was kind of cool. And doily, center of this signature, and I just embellish ho 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 in metallic um, embossing powder. Cute little card. This side of the ledger paper, I just fold it in for flip out. Love, love, love this little postcard. Look at the nativity in the back. Love the colors. And this, some people may not like, I don't know. I loved it. There is a set, I, I, I got a set of vintage, um, just Christmas whatnots from somebody, I think on Etsy, and I cannot for the life of me remember who, but anyway, if you see this video and it was you, let me know because I adore these. Somebody took and made their own, um, ornaments out of construction paper and it looks like wrapping paper you know whatever they had this um ribbon that you use you know to curl the curling ribbon for um gift wrapping and made their own little ornaments or tags anyway i absolutely adore that there's another one in here too you'll see this bag i opened at the top And one day I'll get that back in there. Okay, yep. Just trimmed with that little Noel piece of fabric on the back. The red Harlequin. Here's the January calendar from 66. And they, by the way, have um, recipes on the back. Oh, that was cool. Um, yeah, Project Life card. Tuck spot. That's sort of similar to ours, but ours were actually more ornate than that. Man, I wish I still had them. Anyway, um, the other side of the vintage wrapping paper and gridded paper. Here it is, the holly. This tag is handmade. Old. And I attached it to an old um, page out of a book about holly and the, the meaning behind it at Christmas. Third signature, we wish you a Merry Christmas at the top. Here's your wrapping paper and stamp over your journal spot. Oh, that book was from 75, the McCall's Book of Christmas. And I made this little tuck um, journal or journal spot out of um, just a, looks like an index card that was Christmas themed. I stamped the Santa on the back and added these embellishments at the top. This card is from Above Par Crafts. Um, it's an Etsy shop, and her name is Stephanie. And if you have not been by to see her, you really need to. She um, has some fabulous, fabulous items um, for embellishments, for making journals, um, all kinds of vintage things. And her prices are absolutely amazing. Um, and not only that, but she's from Canada. And... Her shipping prices are absolutely reasonable. Um, they're not what I thought they would be at all. Um, and she ships very quickly. Um, I have never once been, I've ordered from her several times and have never once been disappointed by the quality of items, um, the time that it took her to send them. It was always quick and speedy. And like I said, her, her prices and her shipping prices are just absolutely incredible. So be sure to check um, Stephanie out. She has some pretty amazing stuff. She also has some Christmas kits. I think she still has some in stock that are in American dollars from what Craft and Vicky said, are $20 or less U.S. dollars. Um, and y'all would not believe the stuff that she has crammed into those kits. Um, an unbelievable deal. So, go by and check Stephanie out. But that this um, cool card did come from her shop. And I just attached it to some um, red ribbon and put this little flower on and some ribbon out of the side there. Just some cute, fragile handle with hair sticker labels. 
this folds out. The gold um, metallic Harlequin stamping, and I embossed in metallic gold Merry Christmas. Little Santa face in the center of this signature. Okay, music paper, a bingo card, a vintage um, Rolod. Uh, I'm getting down there again. Rolodex card I tipped on there. A little vintage um, gift tag and some guest checks in that pocket. And two playing cards in this cute, very glittery envelope. And in the back, I added a lace pocket here and added, gave you a vintage um, Christmas card. Warm greetings for the holidays. And it has been signed as ever to you both, Carolyn, Tina, and Tanya. I love um, vintage Christmas cards. So neat. Okay. So, um, don't forget that these journals... Um, are in my Etsy shop and you can use my 15% um, off coupon down at the bottom when you check out by typing in bill15 um, and that'll give you 15% off anything in the shop. It doesn't have to be one of the Christmas books. Um, it will apply to any item in the shop. And if it doesn't, for some reason, please feel free to contact me and I will make it happen. <laughs> we will take care of that. So anyway, I hope you like the Christmas books and take advantage of the coupon. I'm running that through, I think, the 29th or 30th of December. And um, yeah, take advantage of it while it's there. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. Bye-bye.